Uh, I am Walter Kui. Uh, originally, I'm from Cameroon. I got my PhD in the University of Leiden, African Studies Center. And it was specifically on African history, uh, social history, and then uh, social anthropology. After that, I was a fellow at uh, Oxford University. And in 2019, I was recruited uh, to teach history in the University of Leiden. Because I knew I was coming from Africa and uh, coming to teach Europeans, coming to teach Indians. It was about uh, handling the pedagogical aspect. How do you get people of different cultures and put them at the, different, at the same level? Uh, we live because of others. The world can never be isolated. Everybody's problem is another person's problem as well. So I think diversity and inclusion is uh, something that should highly be regarded by the university stakeholders. It will become a place where knowledge is truly transferred. But I think in Africa there's a, a proof of that uh, a lizard that falls down from a very high tree and nobody presses it, not its head, and presses itself. I praise myself because I deal with a whole spectrum of students from all over, I see all over the world. And uh, uh, one thing I try to do is to take all my students at the same level. For a very long time, Africa has been left at the margins. <clears throat> the margins of knowledge production, uh, the margins of civilization, the margins of development. It's really a misconception that has gone so deep because Europe, Eurocentric views about Africa has played a very big role in shaping these concepts. And uh, many have taken that up. That is why uh, students that come to read African history in Leiden, I take them very seriously because it is only through them that this uh, type of misconceptions can be corrected. Okay, if you talk about inclusion and diversity, which is related to your topic now, Africa was never included in a mainstream academia for a very long time. Now we are talking about decolonization. Okay, decolonization of the universities. Why? Because knowledge production in Africa has been highly shaped by European views, European theories, European concepts, so Europe became like a laboratory where they manufactured theories and send them down in Africa. So I can give you an example. If you go to top journals in African history, Journal of African History, Africa Today, uh, uh, Canadian Journal of African Studies, look at, the, look at those who publish here. All are Europeans. All are Europeans. And today it is still the issue. So until we start to also know that Africa can produce something that it can be consumed from the north, then we start to talk about inclusion. We start to talk about inclusion. And I try as much as possible in my lessons to also make students feel that Africa has something to contribute. So the concept of conviviality is very important. It is how we take what comes from Africa, and also Africa should take what comes from Europe. It is not about one-way traffic. And uh, as far as humanities is concerned, we start to see how uh, each humanity is not independent of each of the other. We see uh, interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary way of looking at humanities is the best way to look at it. So if you want to study history, you study history alongside with archaeology, sociology, anthropology, political science. With that, then you have a holistic view of how the world works.